Alrighty, what's up, motherfuckers? Peter Gilmer here once again for another video right here on Metal God 669. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like this video, hit the subscribe button down below, and subscribe to all my other channels, which are down below in the description box. And as always, find me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and share this video all over the internet. But don't forget to tap that bell and turn on all my notifications so you never, ever, oh, baby, ever miss an upload. That's all you gotta do. So, do it now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on this cloudy, you know, the sun came out a little bit today, but pretty nice day. Hope everybody's having a great day. I'm doing much better. A lot of you know, a lot of people are asking me, asking um, about me, uh, late last night, early this morning. Um, I'm doing pretty. I'm not doing great, but I'm a little bit better than yesterday, uh, than last night really. Um, still got some aches and pains in the groin area, and uh, not because of hard sex or anything like that, you know. But it is what it is. Um, yeah, just got some aches and pains. I got pain in my neck right now, but. Not thanks to Rosa, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, you know, just one of those days, you know, where my body is just breaking down. I'm, I'm getting old. I'm on f about 44 and a half years old right now, so, so I'm breaking down. I'm getting close to 45 in the next couple months. Um, but you know, thank you for all your well wishes on, um, on Twitter and Instagram. And to my friends that I message on Facebook Messenger, like you know, Double Z and Chase and fan of YouTube and all the guys and the ambiguous bastards and you know all the all those you know Robbie Battle and everybody else. You know, big shout outs to them. And um that's all I gotta say about that. Those are my true friends, my friends. My true friends. Big big shout out to all you guys. And to all you trolls, well fuck you. And that's all I gotta say about that. But I feel better. I'm feeling a little bit better. I still got some pain here and there, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna take the next couple of days. I'm gonna actually go to, uh, the, uh, doctor probably tomorrow. Well, I don't know about, well, I can't go tomorrow because, uh, the missus is going on assignment again. She, she's so busy with her, you know, with her career and everything. She's going back to Florida for two more weeks. For a little bit of an assignment. So she's, uh... She's uh, going to be uh, leaving tomorrow afternoon. She's going to get to Florida by tomorrow night. And then starts her assignment on Saturday. And probably going to be, I would say, about two weeks. So she'll probably be back by SummerSlam. So, you know, I got to worry about, you know, with Florida, you know, with the, the Delta variant and all that shit. But she's not really going to be going out much to, uh, you know, well, with, in, with uh with her assignment in Florida, so that, that's basically it. So she should be fine. She'll be fine. Um, hopefully, you know, getting there be fine. Nothing happens or anything like that. And then, like I said, she'll get there tomorrow night. Um, and then, uh, yeah, she'll be in Florida for the next uh, fourteen, uh, maybe fourteen. I would say week to fourteen days. Week two, about two weeks pop, pop. So she'll be back. I would say by the uh, by SummerSlam weekend. Uh, I would say by the tw by, by um, NXT Takeover, she'll probably be coming back, or by the twenty third at least. But you know, it is what it is, and um, I would go, but you know, it's you know, I can't go because I gotta stay in in the house and gotta feed, I gotta take care of my cat, and I gotta fix the house up and everything, you know. So, but anyway, I'm gonna be up. Uh, I'm just gonna be chilling, um, you know, chilling, doing what I gotta do. Cause I can't get off from work, but it sucks. So yeah, so she's gonna be down. There, you know, Rose is gonna be on assignment, but she loves you all, and she will, uh, you know, she'll say what she has to say when she goes out there. It is what it, what it is. Maybe she can. Well, she can't do it now, but it is what it is. So yeah, so I got I got the next uh, after well as of tomorrow night. I have uh, the house myself, so all you ladies can come over and blow me, but it is what it is. I'm just kidding. Um, but that's all I gotta say about it. So I'm gonna have a good time. I'm gonna, um, yeah, the weekend, uh, this weekend, probably tomorrow night, I'll just, probably just gonna chill, watch SmackDown, 
and then I'll do my review, of course, and then probably the rest of the weekend, I'm probably just going to sleep. Um, might go over to my parents' house again uh, Saturday uh, Saturday night and Sunday, and then i got to go to the bank. Gotta gotta go to the bank and put my checks in and everything. I gotta take some. Um, <clears throat> I gotta take some money out, and um, cause I got bills to pay. You know, most of my bills, you know, or you know, go through my my uh, my my uh, bank account. So it is what it is. So basically, I paid all my well, most of my bills. So I paid three three bills just now. So uh, my phone, my uh, my internet, and uh, my uh, my cable, my the rich man's cable. So all that's done. I just gotta pay my uh, my car payment and that's it. I'm done. But that's not, that's like in the, like a week away that I have to pay that bill. But by the time I I pay my that bill, I'll be fine. I'll be getting I'll be getting more money, but then I gotta pay more bills after that. So it doesn't end. So, but it is what it is. Anyway, enough about that mushy stuff that you don't want to don't want to hear about. But at least I have a better life than you. That's all I gotta say about that. All you people just just at home on your Commodore 64 computers trolling me, stalking me. Same fucking shit with with a hundred million sock accounts and then stalking my friends. You know. It is what it is. If that gets you off then pff, at least you're getting off well, you know, just not getting any real pussy, but it is what it is. And you don't have job most of you don't have jobs. It is what it is. We don't care about you, so... It is what it is. We're better than you, and you know it. Like Maxwell Jacob Friedman said. And that's all I can say about that. And I will be doing my AEW review right after this video. So, I'm just gonna, gonna do this, edit it up a little bit, and then get ready for uh, your AEW Homecoming review coming up in just a little bit. That's that. Alright, look, let's, let's get to something quickly. Some sad news on the Metal God channel, as you know... What happens on this channel? A uh, little bit of metal news, and um, you know, I do do music videos. I mean, the last music video I did was the uh, the rest in peace video for Joey Jordanson, who's getting lots of uh, lots of love from um, everybody in the rock and metal community right now. Um, his last band, I forgot the name of it, Simonson. I forgot the name. Of it. it has this weird name, Simonson. I think it's called. You know, they tried to save Joey. I think Joey had some mental problems or something like that. So, that kind of sucks. But, it was around my age, so... It is what it is, but... That's all I can say about that. But today, well, yesterday and today, we lost a couple of big names in the world of professional wrestling. Uh, yesterday, we lost... Memphis, uh, Memphis uh, a, a big promoter in um, Memphis, Tennessee, who was the promoter of Memphis Championship Wrestling. Uh, what was his name? Bert. Uh, damn, I gotta look up this guy's name. Bert Pierce, I think his name is. I, I got. Let me. No, I should have done this earlier and I forgot. I think his name is Bert Pence or something like that. I can't even type right now. Uh, that too, because I just I'm about, I'm just having my lunch right now. Okay. All right. Um. Bert Prentice. Okay, that's that's what it is. Uh, yeah, Bert Prentice, uh, who's a major part of Memphis the Memphis, the Memphis wrestling scene. And an independent promoter, he passed away at the age of 63. Um, it was posted on the USWA Facebook page that he died. Peter Bionsada reports that Prentice died after a battle with cancer. <sighs> cancer! Fuck cancer! You know, as Ozzy says. But yeah, he uh, passed away. A great promoter uh, from the Memphis wrestling scene. Uh, I just watched a video of... Uh, him interviewing Wildfire Tommy Rich in Outlaw Championship Wrestling, I think it was called. Uh, but Tommy Rich was basically yelling at people. But uh, another great wrestler, Tommy Rich. Um, 
it is what it is. But yeah, Burt Prentice has passed away at the age of 63 uh, to cancer, which sucks. I wish there was a fucking cure for cancer. So, you know, but sadly there there's not. But it's like more more and more these days, cancer is killing people more. Oh, I think COVID is, well, between cancer and this fucking virus is kind of like one, two right now. Like, you don't die from cancer, you're probably dying from either from COVID or a heart attack or just natural causes. Or you get shot or something like that. But yeah. Uh, you know, I didn't grow up with the, you know, Memphis Championship Wrestling. I really didn't know about the promotion until World Class Championship Wrestling came around with, you know, with the Von Erics and Ric Flair and, woo, Nature Boy Ric Flair and Jerry Lawler and all that stuff. And then I knew about Jerry Lawler uh, later when, um, later on during the WC the, the uh, WCCW era where I, I found out that Jerry Lawler uh, wrestled in Memphis Championship Wrestling. And he had so many big matches with a lot of people. But, it is what it is. But, Burnt Prentice, uh, probably one of the best, I, I would, I, I'm not going to say the best uh, indie promoter of all time. But, he is one of the best. Um, and, um, he'll be, he, you know, he's in that wrestling ring in the sky with, with, a, with a, all, all the other promoters who have died. Vincent Kennedy McMahon Sr. Uh, well, I was going to say Bill Crockett, but... David Crockett. Yeah, his name is Davy Crockett. Davy, Davy Crockett. You know, uh, David Crockett's still alive. You know, the Crockett Cup, you know, what the NWA was doing last year and all that stuff. He's still alive, but... You know, you still got promoters today, you know... Vincent Kennedy McMahon, one of the mo best best promoters of all time right now. Um, Tony Khan promotes AEW, and uh, I don't know. I, I think I think Scott Demore uh, promotes Impact. Kerry uh, Silken is the well. Kerry Silken is the ambassador of Ring of Honor. Uh, it's not the promoter. Uh, so I think it's um, Joe Goff and. Uh, and Sinclair Broadcasting, I think, I promote that. I know Gabe Sapolsky was the original promoter for Ring of Honor. But, it is what it is. What it is. And, um, you know, solely he'd be missed. I know, uh, I know a good buddy, Uncle, uh, you know, Uncle, Uncle Bill Apter, the great man that he is, Bill Apter, was, uh, not, not too, uh, happy yesterday, uh, reporting that. Um, one of his best friends in the wrestling business. So, it is It is what it is. But, Burt Prentice, Burt, 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 Burt Prentice of the, you know, the Memphis wrestling scene, the USWA, um, some other promotions here and there. Uh, he has passed away at the age of 63 due to cancer. And, uh, may he rest in peace. That's all I gotta say about that. So, my condolences go out to the uh, Prentice family. And all of Memphis, Tennessee, and all the wrestlers that came from Memphis Championship Wrestling, and you, and my, you know, my condolences go out to the USWA as well. And um, that's all I gotta say about that. But today, the big one today, as the title below says, um, which is just gonna be the title. I'm not gonna. I might put Burt Prentice in the title too, but mostly this video is gonna be about the death and the passing of one of the. I, I would think. One of the most technical wrestlers in in the NWA, WCW, a couple other federations here and there. Um, one half of, I believe, one of the top ten best tag teams of all time, the Midnight Express. Uh, no, it's not Sweet Stan Lane. It's Sadly, it's the passing of beautiful Bobby Eaton. Yes, Bobby Eaton has passed away. Today, uh, at the age of 62, uh, he was a three-time, three-time, three-time NWA WCW World Tag Team Champion with the Midnight Express, the second Midnight Express, with Sweet Stan Lane and our good friend Jimmy Cornette, who, uh, uh, well, I'm on, I'm on the Bobby Eaton Twitter page right now, uh, 
a lot of people uh, are talking about it. Tommy Dreamer has talked about it. Art Anderson, uh, you know, had a tweet. You know, uh, about about beautiful Bobby. He said uh, that Bobby was uh, the world lost his finest citizen. There was a kinder, gentler person. I would I would sure love to meet them. I could spend all day talking about how special he was in a wrestling ring. That's easy. I mean, he was he was a great guy. If you ever met the guy, I never met him, but um, but he is a great guy inside the ring, outside the ring. Great matches. Um, great feuds with the Rock and Roll Express, the Steiners, the Legion of Doom, Hawk and Animal. You know, some great, you know, big time matches. You know, in the NWA and WCW, uh, one of them was the uh, the match of the Skywalkers. You know, with the the Midnight Express and Jim Cornette against the Road Warriors, and I think Paul, uh, Paul, uh, Paul Precious Paul Ellering. Uh, which saw uh, basically Jim Cornette break his leg after he fell from a scaffold. But it is what is uh Also, Bobby Eaton has been in war games and got destroyed. We all remember remember that that war games match he was in when he took the turnbuckle off. I think it was Sid Vicious took the turnbuckle off and just went bam. Right into Bobby Eaton's arm, broke his arm, and um, they lost the match, of course, because Bobby Eaton uh had to submit. So, so that was that. But other other than that, Bobby Eaton had a great career in WCW and and, and the NWA. Uh, and uh, that's basically all I got to say about that. Uh. You know, he was also in Ring of Honor for a little bit. I'm actually watching a, a video from Ring of Honor. I don't know if I can play it because I might get copyrighted, so I'm not going to play it. Um, yeah, Jim Cornette in the ring with uh, Harley. Harley Is that Harley Race? And I think that's Chris Candido. I can't even, I can't tell who that is. See, I don't want to play the volume, because I don't... See, it looks like Harley Race. This has to be from 2000 and... Early 2006, 2007. I don't know what year this was from. You can go on um, the uh, Twitter and go, look up... Just type in Bobby Eaton, and you can find it. But I'm not going to play it, because I don't want to get copyrighted from Ring of Honor, especially them. But... It is what it is. It is what it is. And, uh, trying to f yeah, he died at 62. Uh, he had a run as a TV champion. He was part of the Dangerous Alliance with Paul E. Dangerously. I think that's after the uh, Midnight Express kind of broke up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to try to find out the actual cause of death. I don't... He, he, he did have some uh, health problems, but, um, and, um, we'll see what happens with that. Okay. All right, I'm taking this from, uh, the Daily Mail in the, uh, good old UK. Uh, by the way, fuck the UK. Uh, except for a couple of people that live there. Anyway, uh, star tag team wrestler Bobby Eaton has died of six, at 62. Uh, a member of the Midnight Express, uh, during the 80s. He was inducted into the Wrestling Observer Newsletter Hall of Fame in 2009. Uh, his sister Debbie announced uh, today of, de of the death. Uh, she called him the kindest, loving person you could ever meet. Uh, she wrote on Facebook that I never wanted to have to post this, but my little brother, beautiful Bobby Eaton, has passed away last night. So he died last night instead of, you know, found out the news today, of course. Uh... When I find out all the details, I will post them. Bobby was the kindest, loving person you could ever meet. I loved him so much and I'm going to miss him. So we don't know how he died, but I, I assume it's from something. Um, he wasn't on drugs as far as I know. I think he just had like various ailments and stuff like that. But... Just a, just a sad day 
in the world of wrestling, WWE reported it, Ring of Honor, uh, Impact. I would think Impact will have something like a picture, like in memoriam to Bobby Eaton tonight on Impact. I hope, I would think Vince McMahon, if he's not such a senile fuck, would have something for Bobby Eaton. Like, during the, you know, the, the intro before the signature and everything, they'll have, like, an in memoriam, beautiful Bobby Eaton. Same thing on Raw, maybe same thing on NXT, and I would think AEW would, do the same, would be doing the same thing on um, Dynamite next week. But still, a, a great man, like I said, three, uh, former three-time NWA WCW World Tag Team Champion with Sweet Stan Lane. Jim Cornette was the manager, one of the, I would say, the top five yeah, I put them in the top, at least the top five, top ten, best tag teams in 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 the world. You know, got, you, you can't, you know, it's hard to put where you can put them because there's so many great tag teams back in the day. You know, I mean, you had to put the Legion of Doom number one. That has to be number one. Rock and Roll Express, I would take, put number two. Then I would put the Midnight Express number three. Then the Steiners, and then maybe Harlem Heat after that. And then, and then maybe number six would probably be the Dudleys, and maybe then after that, the Hardy Boys, Action Christian, stuff like that. But yeah, you have to put the put the Midnight Express in the top three, top three, top five tag teams of all time. That's that's just me, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. For. Uh, uh, excuse me. That's um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, this is, there's a tweet uh, saying Bobby Eaton's highest rated match on Cage Match. That's, I guess that's a website. Is the Midnight Express versus Fanta the Fantastics in Mid Atlantic uh, Championship Wrestling? I, I actually remember that match. Uh, the Midnight Express versus, versus the Fantastics in a Mid Atlantic TV taping. Uh, also, uh, Bobby Eaton versus Firebreaker Chip. At the 91 Clash, also Bobby Eaton also fought the Man Called Sting. And he fought Ric Flair, too. He had a pretty good match with Flair. Pretty good match. Almost beat Flair at one point. But still, you know, there's no way that... I mean, there's no way that, that Flair would put Bobby Eaton all over in a title match. But, you know, you never know. But, I mean, he did put over Chris... Uh, Chris... Uh, Kevin Von Erich... Oh, Kerry Von Erich, not Kevin. Kerry Von Erich, the Texas Tornado. We all remember him. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, Matt and Jeff Hardy were big fans, of course. You know, because of the, uh, you know, of that. Uh, his signature move was the Alabama Jam. If you all remember that one, which, uh, Matt and Jeff Hardy are big fans of they, you know, they when they do the ah! leg drops. Basically, that's in, uh, in you know, inspired by Mr. Bobby Eaton. Uh, also, uh, Bobby Eaton versus Brad um Brad Armstrong at Wrestle Raw '91. That's a pretty good match. Yeah, he, he had a lot of great matches. On, a big career. I think his '80s run was great in WCW with a. Uh, Sweet Stan Lane, you know, as the Midnight Express. And then his solo career wasn't that bad either. You know, him aligning with Paul Heyman in the, in the Dangerous Alliance. Uh, finding guys like Sting. And, uh... And, and Flair. Yeah, but after, after like, after that... After I think WCW kind of died. Not even before then, because I don't think he was around during the, uh, you know, the Hogan era. And then... Well, the NWO era, I think he was part of the... When Hogan first came out, I think he was still part of it. But I think after that, he kind of left. And then we didn't really hear from Bobby Eaton that much. But he would... He would go to, like... Like, Legends of the Ring. And, uh... And different, like, wrestling conventions and shit. You know, WrestleCon and Legends of the Ring, stuff like that. Like I said, he uh, was in Ring of Honor for, I think, one show with Cornette. Um, I don't know who else was on it. I, I didn't want to play the clip because I didn't want to get copyrighted. But I think that, that clip that I saw was from 2006, I think. Maybe, maybe earlier than that. I don't know. But... You know, I was always a fan of Bobby Eaton. I was, I love the, I love the Midnight Express, the second version. Not the first version, but the second one that we all know and love. 
with Jim Cornette, you know, the music. Doo, 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 doo. I mean, you hear that music today, you're like, holy shit. I, do, I love the Midnight Express theme song. Almost as great as the, uh, you know, as the Freebirds music. Bad Street, Atlanta, GA, you know. I think, I don't even know if the, the uh, Midnight Express faced the Freebirds. I'll have to look that up, but. Yeah, some, some good stuff with Bobby Eaton. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think this, this clip on Ring of Honor Wrestling on Twitter. Um, yeah, that is sweet Stan Lane. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's Jim Cornette. I don't know who that other guy is. It's, sweet, it's Bobby Eaton, Sweet Stan Lane, Jim Cornette. Uh, it looks like Harley Race, but I couldn't tell if that's him or not. Or maybe the, uh, Dennis Condry maybe might have been. Because Con Dennis Condry was in the first version of the Midnight Express. So, we got that. So, uh, that's all I got to say about that. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, his uh, finishing move was the uh, the Alabama Jam, the top rope leg drop, which uh, the Hardy Boys are you know kind of you know emulate now with when they do it, but they do it from the second rope most of the time. I think when when Jeff Hardy does it, you know when he just goes berserk and he just flips over, you know, you know he dies off of uh, ladders and shit with a leg drop. Sometimes he does a slant on, but most of the time he does the leg drop. He kind of does that in homage to uh, Mr. Bobby Eaton. But, um. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty much it. Bill Apter did a vi just did a video about uh you know about it so. Becomes the Uncle Bill Apter, um, and run wrestling.com and everything like that, and um, yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. There's actually a, um, I don't know what federation this is from. Jerry Funk and Arn Anderson had a match with Sabu and Bobby Eaton as well. Uh, I think it's, it was at when Worlds Collide, I believe. But just saying, I mean, just go to go on Twitter. Just type in Bobby Eaton in the search in the search field. You can find a whole bunch of stuff. That's all I gotta say about that. But anyway, that's all I gotta say about that. So, so uh, rest in peace to Burt Prentice, um, and a special rest in peace to beautiful Bobby Eaton. You guys were the best, Bobby. You were a, gr a great tag team uh, champion, a great wrestler, great TV title run in WCW for a little bit, but uh, all I gotta say about that is uh, my thoughts and prayers go out to the Prentice family and the Bobby Eaton family, uh, to his sister Debbie, and to his wife and kids, and everything like that. I send my condolences, and um, that's it, my friend. Cheers! And that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. So let me let me know your thoughts and about uh, the deaths of Burt Prentice and especially beautiful Bobby Eaton. Uh, any memories or anything like that? Just let me know what you guys think about these two deaths. Uh, so hit the hit the hit the uh, uh, leave me a comment, do a video if you wish. I don't really care. Uh, don't forget to like the like the video. And that's all I gotta say about it. But I know there are gonna be trolls that will just dislike the video for the purpose of disliking because they have no soul and they have no heart. But like I said, when you guys die, we're gonna piss on your grave and we're gonna haunt you for the rest of your fucking life. So, fuck you haters. And that's all I gotta say about that. So, that's all I gotta say. Um, I'm gonna edit this up a little bit and then get, um, then a little bit, probably about, I would say another 10, 15 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna do my AEW Dynamite review for uh, last night for Homecoming. And that's it, right there, right on the Peter Gilmore YouTube wrestling channel. So, that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your afternoon, and I'll see you next time. Rest in peace, Bobby Eaton and Burt Prentice. Great men, gone too soon. Rest in peace, my friends.